The response variable in this data is the ordinal variable quality, which is recording the quality of fingerprints lifted using three different methods A, B and C at three different temperatures 10, 20 and 30 degrees centigrade. The quality is measured over a range of 1 to 5. And we wish to develop a graph of box plots and an interaction plot to show variations within this data. So we start with box plots. So we go to graph, box plot. We have one Y response variable, but we wish to group the data into the different experimental conditions. So we select groups. The graph variable is quality. And for the categorical variables, we wish to group the box plots primarily according to method, and this will occur along the x-axis of the plot, but then within, within each method to identify the effect of different temperatures. We can then produce the graph. Each of these box plots represents the range of values for each particular experimental condition for the three methods A, B and C and within each method at the three temperatures 10, 20 and 30 degrees. So this gives some initial impression of the data, suggesting perhaps that quality of the fingerprints is increasing as we move from methods A to B to C, but it is not very clear about any differences due to the effect of temperatures 10, 20 and 30. There is an apparent increase for methods B and C for the quality for increasing temperatures, but this does not appear to be reproduced for method A. So it will be interesting to look at the interaction plot. And to do this, we will use the analysis of variance calculations just to produce the plot. Although, because the ordinal data will not satisfy the normality requirements for the ANOVA analysis, we would not be able to use any significance calculations from the ANOVA. So we go to ANOVA. We must fit the general linear model first, because until we have fitted the model, we are not able to access any of the factorial plots. So we will fit the general linear model. The response will be the quality. The factors, we will have the method and the temperature. But we need to identify an interaction, so we will go to model. And we have the terms method and temperature, which we will highlight. And when we do that, we are able to add cross factors or an interaction factor between these methods. So we will click add. And we see that we now have the interaction factor of method times temperature. OK. And fit the data. The numerical results will appear in the session window. But at the moment, those are of no interest. But we will go back to STAT, ANOVA, General Linear Model, and we can see that we can now produce a factorial plot. The response is quality. We have selected these factors, method and temperature. But we need to identify the graphs that we wish to see. We see we have a main effects plot selected and an interaction plot. And at the moment, we will display the full matrix of the interaction plots, OK, and request the graph. If we look first at the main effect plot, the y-axis gives values of quality. And looking at the plot on the left-hand side, each data point is the average of all the values for a particular method. The average results for method A, method B, and method C. And it appears from here that there is a general increase in quality as we move from A to B to C. The plot on the right hand side averages all the results for the particular temperatures 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. And here there is not such a clear progression of quality. But we may get some further information if we further subdivide the data, which we have in this interaction plot which gives a matrix, in this case, of two different plots. 
and if we take the plot on the top right again this is plotting quality in this case against temperature 10 20 30 degrees but separated for each particular method so for example this data value in the bottom left here is the average of all the values for method a at a temperature of 10 degrees the lines here just connect the data points for the different methods so we have method a method b and method c and by plotting it in this way we can see if there is an interaction in that it is possible that changing the temperature will affect different methods in different ways but we do not know until we can perform a numerical test whether any apparent differences in these effects are at all significant or just occur by random variations and in the graph on the bottom left again we have an interaction plot but this time we identify the different methods along the x-axis and the different lines represent the different temperatures 10 degrees for blue 20 degrees for red and 30 degrees for green